and welcome back to the 35th tutorial in the Cocos 2DX JavaScript tutorial series and in this tutorial we're going to look at how to detect multi-touch events we've already set up multi-touch events and it's a very similar manner in how we detect them compared to single touch but obviously with this we can detect multiple touches so yeah let's just get into the code this tutorial seems you have done the 34th tutorial if you haven't, there'll be a link in the description to the source code, and as usual, there'll be a link in the description to the source code produced from this tutorial. It's going to open up the project from tutorial 34. Once it's open, you want to go to the myapp.js, and down here, add a comma, then you want to create a new function. It's actually a built in function, it's called on touches began. If you watch uh, the tutorial covering single touch events, you would have uh, noticed it's on touch began, but this is on touches began, that's the only difference here. Then you say function open bracket touch event and then here we're going to put cc dot log open bracket put quotation marks and in there we're just going to say multi touch began. That's literally all we're going to do. Put a comma there again, you don't have to, but I'll just do it out of habit. Indent this, sort out the formatting, and now we can click build and run. Simulator will load when I click on the screen, a little log will appear down here that will say multi touch began. There you go, it has detected multi touch has occurred. You might be wondering why you would use. The single touch over the multi touch because for the most part every single device supports multi touch and that's all you'll need and in all fairness that's true single touch is useful to prevent touch propagation and what that is you want to prevent touches from one screen or layer going to another screen or layer you might have played a game usually a generally cheap game on let's say on a computer and you've kept enter pressed when you're on a menu it selects that menu item that maybe takes you to another level select and because you've kept it pressed it presses enter again and again and again whereas with a single touch it will only detect one type of touch at any single instance that's the benefit of the single touch so generally you would use this function and the single touch i personally use when i'm doing stuff like menus etc but there you go that's how to detect that multi-touch has begun. In the next tutorial, we'll be looking at how to detect multi-touch again, but when it's moved. And thanks for watching.